we've been all about the same age as me. Went to school about the same time as me. Half eight, quarter nine. When you, back, when you look back, I've been looking through some of the entries for this year's business awards, and there's so much, like all these computers and stuff. Are you on the internet, sir? Yes. Would you like to stand up and show everyone your mouse? No. <laughs> all right. I mean, how can the kids learn with a computer? It's ridiculous. You had to do it up here, am I right? Maybe not you, sir, but you... you... <laughs> how can the kids learn with a machine? Do you know what it said in the Liverpool Echo two weeks ago? Five out of three children can't even do fractions. <laughs> I was a kid growing up in Liverpool. Where are you about to Liverpool, man? Heighton. All right, so I was only joking. Any trouble? I'm right behind you, girl. The Eagle and Child Country Club. I went to quiz night there the other week, this place in Heighton. Question number one was, who are you looking at? The winner got an alibi for a fortnight. But anyway, you look back. You look back to when you were a kid, you, you, you'd solved your own problem. We didn't know about computers. When I was growing up in Bootle, which for those who don't know, is like it's like the Cotswolds end of Liverpool. <laughs> we didn't even know computers had been invented, we didn't, you know. Dot com was a lavatory cleaner when I was a kid. <laughs> if we surfed the net, it meant my mum was bleaching the curtains. <laughs> Forward slash when trying to get it over a wall, but not now. <laughs> I grew up in a poor area and I'm not proud of it, I'm not ashamed of it either. Bootle is a poor area. Second hand clothes I wore for school, these kids wouldn't do it now, would they say? Eh? Got in Bootle, they won't even wear a condom if it doesn't have Reebok on it. <laughs> Second hand clothes, we were poor family, lots of kids in my family. I never slept on my own until I got married. <laughs> lots of kids in my family, honestly. Second hand clothes. I got a coat for school. It said on the label, slightly imperfect. Well, I wasn't embarrassed. I mean, all right. One sleeve was longer than the other two. <laughs> amazing the way so much has moved on you know yeah I mean I'll be honest I don't have children I can't bear them well I haven't got a wound you'd know that right? I, I haven't got kids but is it true now you can't smack your, your child you're not allowed Christ my mother battered me when I was a kid when I was growing up in Bootle I used to think my mother was a ventriloquist when I was a kid she used to stand on our step like that Get in here now! <laughs> get in <laughs> and where's Kingdom Come? I was going there every week. <laughs> greatest man that ever set foot on this earth when I was little. Do you know my dad used to smack me once for every single word he was telling me off. <laughs> Did you ever get that? How man he And my dad stuttered. <laughs> Played out in the street, you made your own fun. That's where you learned to play football. Am I right, Graham? You played in the street. We played in the street in, in Liverpool. Did you play out, Mrs? Did you? Doctors and nurses. Did you play? <laughs> <laughs> a game after the show. <laughs> God, I hated that. I was always the ambulance driver. <laughs> Some days it didn't even get out the depot. <laughs> We used to play a game in Bootle called Nick Knock. Nick Knock. What you'd do, right? You'd knock on someone's door, then run off down the street before they answered it. It's called Parcel Force now. <laughs> ah, maybe I'm starting to get old. I've got a few of years on anyone. Maybe I'm starting to get old. I look back and think, God, the way I was different when I was a kid. It's gone wrong now. In Bootle, it's gone upside down. Ten years ago, parents had lots of children. Now, children have lots of parents. <laughs> Kids
kids are running around wild and dogs are going to obedience classes. <laughs> <laughs> Even childbirth, childbirth. Do you know what they do by me, madam? People record the birth of a baby on a DVD or a phone. Have you heard of this? People record the birth of a baby. Huh? We went round to some friend's house the other week. They just had a baby. Do you know what they said to me? Would you like to see a recording of the bear? I said, no, I would not. I said, put the conception on, I'll watch that. <laughs> Society, maybe I'm starting to get old. You know, I don't mind old age. I mean, it's a bit of an ambition of mine, to be honest with you. Like, you know, I look at my granddad, and I'll be honest with you folks, I only have one granddad now. My first granddad, he had a terrible accident, bungee jumping. I think he should have told about the artificial leg, really. <laughs> Just a leg and a rope hanging there in the end. <laughs> Oh no, I've got a granddad left now. God, he's great, my granddad. He stains furniture. Doesn't mean to, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but isn't it brilliant now the way the senior citizens are getting politically active? I know we have so many political people here, but isn't that fantastic? Did you see the demonstration in the Somerset? Wasn't that fabulous? 50,000 senior citizens marched past 10 Downing Street like that. What do we want? What do we want? <laughs> when do we want it? When do we want it? Oh, a lot of things have been going on lately. We had the Pope. The Pope visited. I like the Pope. Do you like the Pope? I knew he was going to get the job, this fella. I did. It was either him or that other man, Sokola. But I thought, Pope Sicola, they won't pick him up. <laughs> I watched this message on television, his Holy Father's message. Did you see it? Do not they use the condom. Did you see it? Wasn't that unbelievable? Do not they use the condom. I say, you don't play the game, don't make the rules. <laughs> Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you're in a super audience. I wish you had a better act now. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, we have got an awful lot to get through tonight. We've got a, we've got a fantastic award. And before we act... <laughs> you want to get that scene to, to be honest, Councillor. <laughs> was that Councillor Sharp buying a round of drinks then? <laughs> I thought the wallet was coming out there. <laughs> it's great. We got we got Councillor Sharps next to a famous Scotsman. My God. I've been watching this table. The waiters bought the drinks. <laughs> oh, Are you all right, sir? Are you all right? Is, is this a steering competition? Is this? <laughs> Come on, we need you, we need you full on life, we need, we need laughter from you. I've had a week of it, to be honest. I got a brand new car last week. Came complete with an airbag and a spoiler. That's the wife and her mother. <laughs> <laughs> Fella knocked on our door, he said, I'm here from Everest. I said, well, you better come in, mate, you must be freezing. <laughs> he said, not that Everest, he said, it's about your double glazing. He said, you've had it five years, you haven't paid a penny. I said, well, you said it'd pay for itself after 12 months. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I could be here all night. We have got an awful lot to get through. We're going to start off the proceedings tonight. We're going to show you a short video. And it is only a short video, but I really want you to watch this. It's going to be on the big screen here. And it's a video of four of last year's awards winners. So can we have that going? Ladies and gentlemen, please get yourselves comfy, turn your seats this way, and watch our video of four of last year's winners. Support for our future business development team has been fantastic.